Hi, thanks for taking some time to look at RSA's solution for cloud security compliance. This solution allows organizations to continue their journey to virtualization and cloud computing with a great deal of confidence. The solution's main components include over 130 VMware specific security controls, automated deployment workflows, configuration measurements, and instant notifications, all being mapped to regulations and authoritative sources in the Archer system, which is the basis for the solution. We can also supplement this solution with events through RSA Envision SIM platform from a variety of partner solutions such as vShield, vCloud Director, HITRUST, Ionix, etc. The solution will also be documented in detail in one of RSA's secure books to allow easy replication at a customer site. The solution provides a cycle of security compliance with the ability to discover the VMware infrastructure, provide manual and automated configuration assessments, remediation of non-compliant controls, and the ability to manage security incidents that affect compliance. The solution also provides multiple views into the compliance posture of a virtual environment from the virtual administrator who's looking at the status of specific technical controls to the C-level officer that's looking at how those roll up to affect the status and compliance with regulations such as PCI DSS. So we see here this overall solution architecture based on our automated assessment agent which is, has the ability to measure a number of those security controls and feed the status of those controls into the Archer system. Here we can see a list of all the VMware devices that have been imported and populated into the Archer solution. If we drill down into one of those devices, we can then see all of the control procedures that have been mapped to it. Only the specific control procedures that are relevant are mapped to any specific device. We can also see a complete list of the control procedures, their compliance status, and their check method being whether they are measured with the automated assessment system or manually via questionnaires. The solution also provides a dedicated VMware security dashboard. Here it's possible to see the overall compliance status of the VMware related control procedures, be they compliant, not compliant, or not yet assessed, in the case of a new device. We can also see the ratio of manual versus automatically measured control procedures. The dashboard also provides a list of currently assessed devices and their compliance rating. We can see here there's one device that's been newly discovered and a questionnaire or a list of tasks required to bring this device into compliance has been put into that device owner's work queue. If we drill down into the questionnaire we can easily see the comprehensive list of tasks that need to be completed to bring this device into compliance. If we now return to the main screen, we can take a look at a device that's in production and seems to be having a problem with its compliance rating. For example, the device at the top of the list here is showing non-compliant. Within a couple of clicks, we can drill down into that device and assess the problem. Here we can see the list of automated scans that are running on that device, and this one has failed. We can now drill down into this failed scan and see what the problem is. This one seems to be a problem with promiscuous mode not being set on a vSwitch. We can therefore pull up the vSwitch properties, set them to reject, which is the appropriate setting, go back to the main dashboard, refresh, and the device now shows compliant. Also available from the main dashboard, we can see a single view of physical and virtual security compliance. This is for VMware devices and for physical devices combined. The base solution can be supplemented by layering on security instance from a variety of sources through the RSA Envision SIM platform. 
For example, here we see a configuration change policy being set in vShield, which generates an event report in Envision that in turn updates the appropriate controls in Archer with a link to that report. Similarly, here we see a privileged user policy being set in HITRUST. If this policy is violated, the user can be blocked, which will add to the associated revision report, and that too, in turn, will be fed to the relevant Archer control. So in summary, we can see the solution helps accelerate the journey to virtualization and cloud computing with improved visibility, control and compliance, better process automation for managing security policies, and it very quickly communicates the security and compliance posture of a virtual environment. Thank you for your time and please look for more detailed information at rsa.com.